Oh my Zoom. god! <laughs> Hi! Oh, it's so wonderful to see Good you. Good to see you. Not in the ring, but it's wonderful yeah, to see you in the ring. <laughs> oh. At first, I'd, what I'd like to do is kind of just get an idea of how you actually got into boxing. Because I know you boxed with Teresa Kibbe, of course. And just what. How did this all come about? Because women didn't box in the 70s. You know, there's very, very few of them. Came about when my brothers were boxing. They would boxed amateur already. They were turning pro. So we sparred with them. Uh, whenever they need a sparring partner, they should come on, Dar. Hop mm -hmm. in the ring with us. Let's go at it. Mm -hmm. They had the bell there. We went three minutes. They didn't hit us really that hard mm -hmm. just training you know mm -hmm. so finally we got really into it and started getting into the ring more and throwing better mm -hmm. bubba and weaving doing all that and then we got to be really good then my brothers were like well you guys are getting too good you know <laughs> you guys are hitting really hard good mm -hmm. We went down to uh, Archie Moore's place mm -hmm. before we turned pro, and um, he helped us out a lot. Run for five miles, he said, before any, before you even get in the ring to do amateur, if you're going to do amateur. You've got to have your stamina. So we started running five, ten miles a day. How did you guys learn that women were starting to fight? I know Swenson got a Diane. boxing, Diane yeah. Swenson got a boxing license in Nevada. Is that what spurred it on? I think so. I mm -hmm. think that's what it was, yeah. So when they said, California is going to open up if you guys want to be professional, mm -hmm. we said, we're there, <laughs> okay, so whatever that means. Do you recall? Uh, where you first had a fight, where it might have been considered sanctioned, although I've discovered throughout many years that many of our fights actually were not ever reported to fight I think in Eureka. In, Re Eureka. in Eureka. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they said it was just um, exhibition. Exhibition, yeah. yeah. Everything was new for us. I mean, I don't even think they knew what to do with yeah. women. No, they didn't. Know. Uh -uh. And I don't know if you ever paid attention to it at the time, since we didn't have the internet, um, that the media didn't really like us. We, we had a lot of negativity. Out of town, there was a lot of negativity. Yeah. But locally, we got recognized. You were like kids. heroes locally? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like today, you know, it's like you guys, you guys were always number one in our books, you know. Mm -hmm. You guys were always great. You guys always were very respectful. We loved you guys in the community. So, and that's why I wanted to come back here mm -hmm. for this interview because I get a lot of respect from here. Yes. Cool. Okay. It's my home, basically my hometown. So, what did your brothers? I mean, you started out like we said earlier that you originally were sparring partners right. with your brothers because yeah. they had to train there. Right. Were both of them professional or one? They both were amateur and then they turned pro. Both of them, yeah. okay. And so what was their reaction when you just started kind of knocking them around in the ring a little they bit? They were happy about it. Supportive? Yeah, they were very supportive. Mm -hmm. Roger, my brother, my blood brother, he was like, come on, bring it on, you know. <laughs> Let's go for it, you know. And he wouldn't pull no punches. Mm -hmm. He would hit us like, <laughs> like we're fighters. We're in the ring with him. I'll treat you like one of the guys. <laughs> and you can handle it. You guys can handle it, you know. You know. So when you were actually offered a professional fight, and they said, "Hey, we're actually going to pay you to get in the ring." Yeah, we were shocked. <laughs> we were shocked. Yeah. Did you feel like at the time when you first started that this was going to take off and we were going to make definitely. money like yeah, the male fighters and get yeah. all this and yeah. then just to be kind of 
yeah. shut down mm -hmm. and and not so much by I don't know your coach or not but not by coaches mm -hmm. it was by media So, after we fought at the Aladdin, there was something really cool that happened, and I know we discussed it, but I really want you to tell me the story about Kenny Rogers. Okay, first of all, we met Kenny Norton. Uh -huh. Took a picture with me and him and Teresa. Then we met Jerry Quarry, who was the heavyweight champion of the world at that time. Mm -hmm. Took a picture with him. Then, before we walked out the door, we were in to Mr. Kenny Rogers. He oh comes over God. and shook our hands. Uh -huh. Nice belt. Uh -huh. He goes, and I tell you something. I thought, he said, when they said women's boxing, that it was going to be like a barroom brawl. I tell you one thing, girls. He goes, watching the guys and watching you ladies, you guys box better than the guys. You guys know what boxing is. Oh, wow. About. So then he invited my whole group, mm -hmm. and there were, I think, five of us, maybe, over to his concert mm -hmm. that he was having that night. Mm -hmm. When we got there, he had all kinds of people in there already, mm -hmm. and then he had his guy come in and tell him to bring a table, like mm -hmm. this, a little longer, with uh, chairs and food, mm -hmm. that oh we were God. his guests. Brought the spotlight out, oh, put it on yeah. us, and said to all those people, I want you, ladies and gentlemen, to, if you have never seen a fight, you got to go watch women's boxing. Mm -hmm. And they're called boxing for a reason. He said, because they can bob and weave and shoot with the best of them. He said, it's not like a bar and brawl, like I thought it mm -hmm, would be, mm -hmm. but... Much respect to these to, ladies. To, we didn't even, I didn't even know Kenny Rogers was in the audience, which that's awesome in mm -hmm. itself. So then after he told his people, he had an album there, and he came down mm -hmm. off stage after he sang a couple songs, came down and he signed it for us. Wow. And he said, here, this is for you. That is so you awesome. You gave me a good evening watching boxing. And so. you guys didn't even come and get me, so... Hmm. We didn't know where you were. You were probably out gambling somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. So, <laughs> anyway, Teresa really hangs good. with me all day, and then when something cool <laughs> happens, I'm yeah, not invited. You're, yeah, you're I'm just, just joking. Okay. But it was a great experience with Kenny Rogers. And yeah, so That was cool. before he was even married, before he even got engaged. Uh -huh. He was single at the time. Oh, my and, um And he was just really proud of us. That's... And, then, and this is what's so hilarious to me, is you take a person that's not the media, right? a famous person, mm -hmm. Kenny Rogers, he sees you guys fight, and he's so impressed with your ear fighting, all of us, and he sees that you, women's boxing was, we were really actually yeah. skillful. We were, yeah. And he, yet he, we he, go he the really. next day, and the media crush us to death right. to get... Women's boxing out of the way. And the spectators that came to watch and saw with their eyes. Yes. This is what the boxing whole is about. difference. The whole difference. Yeah. Yeah.